Hey everyone. Now moving some stuff around the house, but before I put this bed into final position, I can still access the network ports behind it. And one of them has an issue that I'm gonna try and fix up before I, put, before I conceal the whole thing. Now you may remember from a previous video, I put these two network outlets in here. And the one on the left was used for the computer, which had a gig connection and it was fine. The one on the right was for this direct link to Microsoft Help that I've got here on this phone. And I didn't realize it, but that was only negotiating 100 meg. Because, uh, I mean, the phone came up, it was fine, and it doesn't need that sort of bandwidth, so I didn't really pay much attention. But one day I plugged the computer into the other side, and it only came up as 100 meg. So I thought, okay, it looks like I've got a cabling issue. So I'm going to look into that now. The other end of those outlets goes to the patch panel here. So these two here go to that room, those two um, RJ45 sockets, and also I've got this little patch cable here that I made. So that could be dodgy, or the cabling from there to there could be dodgy, or the back of those sockets. So I'm going to find out. So I've gone onto AliExpress and got this little cable tester here. And the idea is you plug a cable in one at each end and it'll tell you if it goes through. So I'm just gonna do it on this patch cable here. Let's see what goes on. So plug that there, plug that at the remote end. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No ground, that's fine. So that cable's fine, obviously. So what I'm gonna do is put this at the other end near the patch panel and put this one in here and see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna include the cable that was part of it. So take that out there and put that into this thing, one-handed. So I'm doing this end first, even though I was just in that room because I don't wanna put power into the switch there. So that's just sitting there ready for the other end to go in. Okay, so now for this end, plug it in, let's see what happens. What have we got? One, two, three, four, no five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's no five. Now that's pretty indicative of why I was getting 100 meg because you can use two pairs for 100 meg connections, which would be, was it one, two, three, and six. So you don't need five for that. So that's why 100 meg came up just fine, but couldn't get the gig. So somewhere, pin five's missing. All right, what I'm gonna do is take that cable out, put it one that I know is good, and still one-handed here. Plug that into the thing. Let me just fucking do that off camera there. All right, plug that in. What's this doing? I think it was still missing. One, two, three, four, no five. Okay, so my little patch cable is probably fine, but it means somewhere behind that patch panel, all that outlet in there is problematic. I'm gonna try that in first because it's a pain to do all this to get to there. So I'm hoping it's the, the wall end. That's where I'm gonna start. I'm going to take this off the wall and we can do it because someone put a fucking bed here. Just have to work around that. Okay, now I've got the unit off and I hope you can see this. That cable there isn't pushed down properly. You see how it's not quite onto the, the crimp connectors there compared to the others. So they're all down nice and deep and that's kind of hanging up here. And you th that's the uh, white and blue. So if you think the color code, white, green, green, white, orange, blue, white and blue would be the fifth one. So I'm gonna pretty much tip that's the one there. And that sort of makes me happy that it's not the other end because that would have been a pain. I think I usually take more care on the other end on the patch panel knowing that it's such a pain to get in and out of that thing. So what I'm gonna do is just crimp this down again, hopefully properly. So just put that in there. Okay, so that looks better. So what I'll do now is plug this thing in again and see what happens. I'll throw that down, four, five. Okay, five's there now. So when I put this back together, I should have a gigabit connection. Okay, I should plug my little patch cable in to make sure that's okay as well, just in case there were two problems. Okay, my cable's good, so that's all done now. I'll just plug that back in, and that's ready to rock and roll. There we go. Now I've got a whole bunch of Raspberry Pis around the house, but until the Raspberry Pi 4 came along, they were all 100 meg NICs. So here's one here, this thing that's been in here for years, that could actually be 100 meg for all I know because it's a Raspberry Pi 1, which is only 100 meg. I never, I never checked it. It worked and it's 100 meg, so that was fine for that. It's only when I tried to use a gig on that that I saw it. So anyway, I've got that little tool now. I got that from AliExpress and I'll put a link into that because it's handy, so you know, I should have got one of those early and just tested it properly, but I was a bit slack. 
Now another thing you might see on your network monitoring is some errors on the port here. So see I've got some, some port errors here on this port which is part of a trunk. So if I, go, if I go to this port here which is one of my switches you can see I've got a whole lot of errors here. And if I go to the corresponding switch that it connects to whichever port it is it's also got a whole bunch of errors. And that is interface garage 3. So I'll show you that. I know what this is but I'll show you anyway. Okay, on the main switch, I've got four patches here called Garage 1, 2, 3, 4. And they go over to this thing over here. Two of which go back over to this switch here, which is these two. Now, this, this link light here was coming on and off as well, which is another good indication that something's knackered. But I'll tell you why. I know why that's dodgy. I'll show you. And that cable is temporarily connected with a couple of patch leads and one of these little connectors in the middle. And this thing's flaky as hell, so I know that's what it is. So I'm not even going to bother because I'm going to move that thing back over here anyway where I've just recently put all my SDR stuff up. So I'm going to make space for it up here and it's going to go there. That's why I'm not too worried about that. But network monitoring gives you another indication that something's wrong with your cabling. Okay, so that just shows you that you can't forget layer 1 because if layer 1's dodgy, everything else above it's going to be dodgy too. So anyway, that's my cable tester and just use that to bell them out. And when I say bell a cable out, I'm referring to old school sort of electronics mentality when you used to use a multimeter to check continuity of a cable and you hear the noise. That's what you say, you bell a cable out. So I still say that when I say bell one of these cables out, even though there's no noise on this that I know of. Anyway, that's all for now. Till next time, take it easy.